this actual chair itself is a massage chair. And I also love that we've got our own bus attendant. It's like being on a flight. Here is the first look at Singaporean dollars. Check that out. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to another episode here in Malaysia. But by the end of this video, we are going to be all the way in Singapore. In this video, we're going to be taking a luxury bus all the way from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia to Singapore. The whole journey should take around six hours and we can't wait to take you with us on that journey. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll also know if you will want to take this journey too. not an easy journey to get to where we're currently standing now we're actually at the meeting point to get this kind of luxury bus over to Singapore but we basically needed to get a taxi from our apartment at 6 50 a.m. however for some reason it was impossible to get Grab which is essentially the Uber in uh, Malaysia it was just crazy so we had literally like 20 minutes to get here so we've got like this massive suitcase at least probably 25 kg it's got mine and Daisy's in there our laptop bags, some uh, stuff for the bus. So we're literally running uphill trying to make it to this spot. And then once we finally get here, there's no bus. Like, what's going on? So anyway, hopefully the bus is going to get here soon. Um, we're literally just waiting for it to turn up. It's about a six hour journey. Yeah, that's what they say, but I think it's typically longer. And you know, guys, call it woman's intuition. But last night I was thinking to myself, what if the taxi doesn't come? So we need to leave early in case we need to walk it and that's exactly what happened but i'm glad we made it on time even though it was a rough walk right yeah rough walk <laughs> honestly guys i need a new suitcase so you know this this is finished i bought it five years ago in milan it was literally not rolling we had to push it all the way up and down up and down but yeah. you know no pain no gain and um Exactly. <laughs> we need to buy a new suitcase, right? 100%. 100%. For these, yes. for this these. is a no-go. <laughs> yeah, so remember I said this, guys. I'm quite excited about this bus journey because it's not any any bus. It's meant to be luxury bus, so we get our own single seat. It's like a massage chair. You get your entertainment, you get some refreshments, you know, you can stand up and walk, do your work or read your book. So, you know, I hope it's going to be a really comfortable and nice journey. Yeah, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be nice or not? Well, let's find out in about five seconds hopefully hopefully <laughs> the bus is not here <laughs> has officially arrived bang on 7 30 a.m i gotta give it to them basically like a double decker first class luxury type of bus it looks quite lavish from the outside i'm hoping the inside looks quite cool it says we've got wi-fi gps all sorts hi now straight upstairs we go here we go guys i feel like i've kind of walked into some form of Almost like a bit of a nightclub. Like some like neon lights, proper nice mood. I think the six hour bus journey guys never looked so good. Now the bus is officially moving. I can finally show you some of the functionalities of this luxury bus. And to be honest, I am so, so pleasantly surprised because I took a luxury bus uh, last year when I was in Pakistan and I headed over to one city to another city so that was my first experience so I'm not like uh, the, the expert when it comes to these things however I did have some experience before so that's what I'm comparing it to and honestly like this is pure luxury the best way to actually explain this is quite simply is like being on a business class lounge when you're flying on an aeroplane it's literally even better to be honest so just to give you guys an idea you do have the option to fly to Singapore as well obviously from Malaysia and it's not too long and um, however I would highly recommend taking this bus instead of flying you'll find out why when I start to explain to you how awesome this bus is but first things first let's talk about these incredible big big chairs like super super comfortable like massive like nice beige leather chairs and a lot of functionalities and my favorite has to be this actual chair itself is a massage chair check this out you've got all the different functionalities here where you can literally have like a full body massage you can have a step massage or kind of like you know some automatic type of mode but how incredible that you can literally have a massage for six hours on this whole journey like it's madness and then you've got kind of all these functionalities that help kind of get you've got a long leg rest just here 
So we've actually got two leg rests, one that just comes right under your uh, calves and then one just for your feet. They have seriously attention to detail on this bus, guys, like, love it. And then we also have your little tray table where you literally just take out of the side and you bring right in front of you so you can have your meal right in front of you. Good um, I'll have a uh, coffee, please. Yeah, coffee. Okay. Black coffee or white coffee? Um, black, please. Black coffee. Yeah. You have a toilet on this bus as well, right? Oh, you don't have yeah. toilet? We will transit accelerator as for 10 minutes directly. Uh, what, what time? Uh, two hours from here. Uh. Two hours, okay. Yeah. Uh, in that case, no coffee for me then. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, if you want to go to the you just ask me. Then okay, I'm alright for now. I'm okay. alright, yeah, thank you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's actually quite surprising. Yes, a big bus like this doesn't have a toilet. So there you go. I was actually going to cover that off a bit later in this vlog, but quite surprised to hear that. Let me show you around this kind of smart TV, iPad-y looking thing that they've got here. Like, it's awesome. So they've got like top of the range movies on here. I'll just show you. I'm really, really like the surprise. If you go to my action movie here, they've got like Deadpool, well, 2016, a little bit old. They've literally got loads of movies to choose from. And if you go to my latest, we've got like Fast and Furious, Gemini Man, all things that have actually recently been in the cinema. So it's totally covered for when it comes to entertainment and games. So if you like travel here with kids and they're definitely going to want to probably play some games or maybe even yourself if you want to kill some time. You've got like all even Angry Birds, the classic. They've got ebooks. Doesn't look like there's much on the uh, read in front here. Emotional intelligence. Interesting, we've got an emotional intelligence book. Interesting, so if you guys wanted to do a bit of reading on emotional intelligence, <laughs> they've got that available as well. Let's see what else they've got. We've actually got our breakfast quite early. No, sorry, not breakfast, uh, kind of our main meal. Because it's only like five past eight in the morning and we did expect it to come a little bit later. However, it's come for breakfast. Anyway, so we've actually got, Dace has got some like sandwich thing over there, but before I get over to dates, I'll show you uh, what they brought me. So basically, pick like a vegetarian type of dish, and um, <laughs> it looks quite heavy for breakfast. Let me show you guys. It's like a hot dish. Uh, looks like we've got some like rice, some rice, and something in like some sauce. And of course, we get a spoon and a fork because in Malaysia, that's what you get in restaurants. Most of the places you go to, you'll get like fork and spoon. For some reason they don't have knives here but uh, I've covered that in another video but I guess it's just more of a type of tradition type of thing anyway I'll use the spoon in this case because we've got some like soup so let's try some of this so get some of that on the rice let's give that a taste mm. that tomato -y type of soup uh, with a rice not too bad actually mm, a little bit on the spicy side especially for breakfast let's try one of these things Definitely quite harsh on the belly for breakfast, honestly. Look at that. Let's, let's give it a taste. That's surprisingly not bad. Basically like a vegetarian chicken. Mm. Nice. Let's try some of the potatoes. It actually is a tasty dish, but personally for me, to have such a heavy dish like this <laughs> at 10 past 8 in the morning is a really like it's not usual for me, you know, it's a bit unusual. Um, but again, I believe in, uh, in Malaysia, this is kind of a typical breakfast dish. There's a lot of people here that will have rice and um, like either a bit of fish or a bit of chicken for their breakfast. It's something that's very, very common in Malaysia. That's why we, I've actually received this. If this was a lunch menu, I would actually rate that food out of five, I would say a solid three, because it is tasty. But just for breakfast purposes, I wouldn't, I can't even rate it really. Not, it's not a breakfast dish for me personally. So we guys have here what seems to be like a tuna sandwich. Yeah. Then you've got some salad with dressing and a few slices of orange. Yeah, that, that definitely looks more like a breakfast menu. Yeah. But to be honest, I'm being me. I've got my own bag with my own goods. Because <laughs> I come prepared. I've got some boiled eggs some cherry tomatoes, I've got some nice nuts, bananas, apples, you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> so I think I'm going to give it... Save it for me later. Yeah, probably we'll save it for Yad's lunch for later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there you have it guys, uh, two different types of dishes. One, which is a vegetarian dish, and two, it is the kind of the meat dish, but it comes in a sandwich, and it's kind of with some nice garnish with the side. So 
a bit of a mix of different types of food that you can get on here um, and they also offer you like a refreshment when you get on like a coffee or a tea and guys we have been quite lucky today and quite blessed by the weather because in Malaysia since we've been here it's just been literally raining nearly every single day but to wake up with a blissful morning like this where it's just so so beautiful and the drive so far has just been really really gorgeous we're like driving past all these like I think they're date farms because there's loads of like palm trees and loads of greenery but one thing about Malaysia I've noticed since we've been here it's just so so green and beautiful and just the nature is just second to none absolutely stunning there are quite a few different companies that you can take um, but if you want to make sure you get the exact same service that we do you can select Transstar. They operate quite a few times in a day I think in the morning lunchtime and evening so it's very convenient depending on you know what time you need to be in Singapore and I think important thing to add is that we selected solitaire suits because I think they've got a standard coach and they've got these suits that you see so you get the massage chair, entertainment and refreshments. Um, in terms of the collection points, they, they've got quite a few around the city so we selected Berjaya Times Square because it was closer to us but I mean you can select whatever is easier for you. I would just recommend that you do what me and Yad did. We actually went to check where the bus stop was last night just to make sure when we arrive to the spot in the morning we don't have to like look around and stress where, where it's located. In terms of the price, uh, I think we paid about $100 each return, so to Singapore and then back, which is uh, you know around the same that you would pay for the flight. But um, in my opinion, you know, going to the airport and checking in and going through all that madness is extremely exhausting especially for people like us who constantly are on the go and so having this comfortable seat means I can actually get some work done you know things that have been pending from months ago so yeah this is this is great a great option guys really so if you want to go to Singapore and you're based in Malaysia like us for a little while it's a definitely a fantastic option little break now a little toilet break because there's no toilets on the bus so get some time to stretch our legs oh it's quite windy out here it's nice to get out though isn't it ready for a toilet break oh my god yes guys yeah. I love everything about that bus but not having a toilet there is a little bit of a yeah it's downside. a downside yeah that's a bit that's weird actually to have like a luxury huge bus like that without a toilet so Anyway, we but, are here. Yeah, they are stopping like every hour and a half or every two hours, so it's not too bad. So it's a little bit of a chilled out service station. You just mainly come to essentially like have a little toilet break and they've also got like some places where you can grab some sandwiches, some local Malay food, which looks like it, and some refreshments. So if you need to top up, they've got that as well. Maybe even a Ramly burger. Hello. Oh, yeah. I haven't had a Ramly burger yet in uh, Malaysia, but I think we may try it. Actually, no, no we, we did have we it. Did we did have it. it. Yeah, we yeah. tried it in yeah. uh, Four Points by Sheraton. They had ordered some of their burgers. Yeah. So we have tried it, but we haven't gone and tried it on uh, on the actual on one of the markets. This is actually our bus, guys. So this is what I was talking about: the first class solitaire suits. <laughs> on the bus we go guys well, I can give you guys a little bit of a tour of what it actually looks like around the back of the area so obviously got quite a large space at the back here as well um, it's like even a little private area at the back guys I love Facebook because it keeps popping up some old memories and this is me and you had nine years ago can you believe it? We looked so young and so fresh. <laughs> I'm still young and fresh. Have you enjoyed the journey so far? What's there not to enjoy? Look at me. I've got my feet up, I'm getting a little massage. And I also love that we've got our own bus attendant. It's like being on a flight. She brings us refreshments, she brings us blankets. She does anything we want her to do. <laughs> it's lovely. Time to get the journey started again, guys. We have got another four, uh, roughly four hours from that first toilet break. So let's go. Guys, 
I'll show you exactly where we are on the map right now. We are literally in between Singapore, which is just there, and this is us here in Malaysia. This little dot, this little dot right there, and we need to cross this bridge. And we are officially in Singapore. So crazy how close, obviously, Singapore and Malaysia are, but. Um, one thing I was told by a lot of locals is that they used to actually be one so it kind of makes sense how they are so close to each other but if you look at how small Singapore is in comparison to Malaysia it's actually crazy they're like a small dot on the map and then you've got Malaysia which is this huge huge you know like a huge country on the map and Singapore is so small yet so rich and so powerful so really really looking forward to exploring more of Singapore beautiful country I've heard so much about it can't wait to get there we're literally just driving from the Malaysia border now heading over to uh, the Singapore border we have now come off at the Malaysia and Singapore border so we've literally just checked out of Malaysia now. So we are literally in the middle of Malaysia and Singapore as we speak. So we're finally in Singapore now guys, six hours later. We've made it all the way from Malaysia to Singapore and five hours, okay. So we've still got, still got another hour to go from the border to get to a specific location at Singapore, which is where the bus actually takes you. And then from there, we're gonna take a grab taxi to our actual hotel where we stay in. But just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of that process that we just went through a moment ago, obviously I wasn't allowed to film for obvious reasons. It's just a you know passport control area, just like you would be in an airport, you can't film that stuff. But I'll explain to you guys the process. It's quite slick to be honest, not that busy. You just get off this bus that you're on, you take your bags with you, just like any airport, you go inside and then you uh, check into Singapore. They, they don't actually stamp you, you just put your fingerprints in and it's all quite digital. They're very, very up there with uh, technology. Very, very excited to be in another country. I actually don't count my countries because um, I feel like I don't want to be counting. I just want to explore wherever I go. I want it to be more open for me. But days is... This is my country number 50. Yes, number this lucky five zero. Yeah. How does it feel? I hope Singapore doesn't disappoint me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's not. There's a, we've heard so much about this country, so many beautiful things, and uh, seen so much on YouTube and other people's videos. I'm very, very excited to dive deep within the culture, um, see see what Singapore is all about. Wow, it's definitely quite warm here, guys. That's for sure. Thank you, my friend. We have been left at like a little mall here, so we're going to quickly grab a SIM card so we can order ourselves a taxi and let's go. Come inside this like a place called Golden Mile Mall and it's like a very very like old school type of shopping mall but this is where the bus basically drops you off and we found this uh, phone shop to get a SIM card and the brand that we're going to go with is somebody called Max Sim, and we're paying 17 Singaporean dollars for 50 GB of data, which actually lasts for one month, but we're only here for five, six days, so it's more than enough. And I think you get some calls with that as well, and uh, I think it's got 50 GB is plenty for five days. So we're just gonna get one SIM card each. Also had to withdraw some money to get the uh, SIM card. And here is the first look at Singaporean dollars. Check that out. It reminds me a little bit of the pounds, like the new British pounds. Actually, almost the same. It's got that kind of uh, plasticky paper type of feel and with the see-through embroidery is there. Time to spend the dollars. Hey guys, we have just made it into our taxi now and our grab is a little bit hectic getting in, but it's the fastest grab. The driver was telling us we can't hang about trying to get our suitcases for too long. People get too impatient. We got horned like yeah. <laughs> two times. Uh -huh. So uh, we're just heading over to our hotel now guys and it's about, not sure actually, I'll double check but I think about 10-15 minutes from where we currently are. Let's go. Well guys, there we go. We finally made it to our hotel. Almost uh, six and a half hours later but we're here. Definitely hotel is lovely guys. We'll be here. For the next yeah, yeah, finally made it. We'll be here for the next five days. Actually be showing you around a little bit about this place as well because it is a stunning hotel. 
Anyway, let's check in. We've also been welcomed with a nice welcome drink here. Cheers. By our good friend Michael here. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Mmm. Nice. Quite refreshing. Just what you need after being on a bus for like almost seven hours. Yes, this lovely hotel. Got a nice refreshing glass of juice. I just need a nice cold shower. Maybe a little nap. Yeah. Yeah, once we show you around the room a little bit, we'll have a little nap. Thank you to our amazing uh, guys here, checked us and also... Thank you for staying with us. Thank you, and yeah. also Michael has upgraded us. Oh. Absolute legend. Thank you, man. All right, let's go. And we're getting a balcony, yeah. <laughs> let's yeah, go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so it's always a nice touch when you come and they look after you and really excited to show you guys around this hotel because there is so much to see and it's literally right in the heart of Singapore, which is in one of the most popular areas, which is called Orchard Road. Finally in our hotel room now and look at this place. Nice big big bed and I cannot wait to sleep in it because in our apartment in Kuala Lumpur we've had this club that is literally open seven days a week and plays music every single night. And every it's, night yeah. until three in the morning. Yeah, it's just absolute joke. You know what? I'm actually gonna put their name up here. If you guys know who they are, sort them out. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me just show you guys around this room. It's so nice, like really cozy and sweet and nice. I've got this incredible area here so I can do some little, a bit of work, do some YouTube videos. I've got a nice flat screen TV just to my left and I said the big bed. And let me also show you guys this. Kind of reminds me of like London style hotels, like in the city of London. It's got these kind of, some of them got these like cozy balconies. It seems like we've got a bit of a view of just like a beautiful green garden, like a jungle type thing, which is actually quite nice. I'm glad it's not like loads of buildings because I've had that view for like the last couple of months in KL, so I'm a bit bored of it. So a bit of nature is also beautiful. I love it. And then also we have this mini bar. Let's see if there's any food in here. We've just got some drinks in there, no food. Okay. Ah, but we do have some coffee in this cafe. Dolce Gusto, you've got to love a bit of free coffee. We've got some Pringles and we've got some nuts, not bad. And we've got our own coffee machine, amazing. We've got a safe as well, which is great. Let's see what the bathroom's like. Oh, that's actually really nice. Very, very modern. After this long journey, we need a good old rest here in this beautiful hotel room. And honestly, this sofa, I think I could probably sleep here. So we were planning to show you the outside of Orchard Road and the surrounding areas of the hotel. Unfortunately, it has just started raining, so I'm gonna save that for a sunny day, which is gonna hopefully be tomorrow. I'm gonna to show you the first impressions here of Singapore. And guys, if you enjoyed this luxury bus journey all the way here from Malaysia to Singapore, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you've got any questions about our journey, the experience, or anything you feel that we didn't cover, please feel free just to leave it in the comment section below and we'll be more than happy to answer them. But for now, thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next video here in Singapore. Thank you.